Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And today is a rather wet day. I'm not sure how much rain we've had. I think about an inch and a half. Maybe not quite that much. We're supposed to get some more here, I think, tonight. So we are not in the field once again. Not too bad temperature-wise, though. It's about, I don't know, it's in the middle to upper 60s, I think. Which means, what does that mean, Jesse? what you cats are fighting about, but I'll tell you what that means. That means I'm gonna get primer on the Bronco. Been down here, I got it all taped up, went over it with wax and grease remover, and she's ready to be backed outside. I need to, need to bag the, uh, the tires and wheels, put some plastic on them or something. The plan is to not keep those tires and wheels, but uh, still I'd rather just not spray paint all over them. So I'm going to get my pickup moved out of here and I'm going to pull the Bronco outside here and I'm going to paint it. Well, I'm going to primer it. It's not the ideal situation here. The temperature, the temperature's not bad. It'd be better if it was a little bit warmer. It's a little damp in here. It's been, the roof's been leaking on this side and uh, I'm hoping it doesn't rain while I'm painting. It won't take too long to get primer on that thing. And as soon as I'm done shooting primer, it's going back in the shop, heat's coming on, and everything should be okay. But if I don't get a primer today, I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to turn cold. It's going to be down in the 40s and 50s for highs coming up, so I think this is it. So on a little bit of a time crunch here, as you know, you always run into small little snags, just little things. And they take time. Right now it is about, yeah, it's going on 20 after 3. Somebody is bringing my daughter home for me. A friend of ours is bringing my daughter home. She works with my wife and she's also bringing me home some, some more mixing cups and some strainers for paint because right now I only have, I only have three cups and I think maybe four, I don't know, four or five strainers. I've only got three mixing cups. So probably gonna need a few more of those. Anyway guys, like I said, it's about 20 after three and I've got about, about three hours temperature wise to get this thing painted, primered. So I am going to, uh, I, I don't know how much I can, I can record. I'm gonna try to get some anyway, but I am going to, I'm gonna get my truck out of here, pull this out, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do it off camera, get that done. They're gonna be home in about 10 minutes. So I got the Bronco pulled out of here. We're all ready to go, with the exception we're having a little bit of rain right now. It's not supposed to last very long. So I'm gonna let this blow through just in case the roof would start leaking. It usually doesn't leak unless we're getting a pretty good rain and this is supposed to be pretty light. It's more of a real heavy mist right now, but the Bronco is kind of under where it leaks. So I'm gonna wait till this blows out of here and then I'm gonna get the primering. All right, guys, you need to stay away from all my paper and stuff. Well, it's almost four o'clock now. Not really raining, it's a real heavy mist almost. It's just air's just saturated but uh, I would go ahead and do this with the one exception there's a drippy drippy right here and it hits there and then it splatters I don't know yeah, you can probably see it there's water gets on the hood really don't want that when I'm shooting primer so I'm gonna give it a few more and if it doesn't uh, it doesn't settle out of here. I don't know. I may just go ahead and do it. Worst case scenario, I'd have to respray this, this one little area here. But I'm getting primer on this girl.
Well, there she is. I got her pulled back into the shop here. I need to remove all the paper and tape off of it. But it uh, turned out pretty good. Now I wish I could just get color on the darn thing. I don't, I just don't know if that's gonna happen. It's supposed to get really cold weather here the next few days. It's supposed to get down, it, it's, it's gonna get pretty cold. Um, I don't know, it is October. So we could see some warm weather coming up, but with us being in the field, I just don't know if it's gonna happen. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. I was really under a time crunch. It's about 6.30 right now to get this done. We had rain coming in. I kept getting alerts that we were gonna, rain was gonna start about six, well, it was saying 6.03, so about six o'clock. And uh, it has, it's wet out, but got it done. No drippy drippy on the hood or anything. So everything worked out good. This side over here, everything, I mean, it, it, I mean, it's primer. I mean, big deal, but uh, yeah, no, it, it actually, uh, actually turned out really good. I do need to get all the tape and stuff off of it though. Here shortly. So I'll probably gonna do that and being that we're probably not gonna be in the field for several days, the way things are going. Um, tomorrow, probably gonna come down and start sanding. More sanding. You know how much I love sanding. I'm about sick of sanding after being out there with Kyle's truck out in Oregon. And then coming back to this, it's sanding, sanding, sanding. But, uh, yeah, turned out good. So, I'll probably, uh, I'm probably going to pull the paper and stuff off of it. And I will bring you guys back in tomorrow when we get sanding. Alright guys, well I got all the paper, well not all of it, it's still on the windshield and the tailgate back here. But, off the doors, door jams, um, the hood and all that. I didn't get to sanding on it yet. Talk about that in a minute. And we're, uh, we're not in the field again today. I don't know if there's a chance we might get in the field later on. And it's gonna be kind of hard to even talk out here because the wind is blowing pretty hard. Let's just get back in the shop. I am gonna get the sanding on this, and I may even get it painted here pretty quick. Kind of waiting on sanding, just, well, a couple of reasons. One, I just didn't feel like doing it, and two, not any right now, but there have been some flies in here, and the darn flies will land on it and leave little fly spots. You know what I'm talking about. And a lot easier just to sand those right out Sanding down the primer. Hold on, phone call. Nothing important there, and I think I just heard Jesse scratching at the door. There she is. Well, is Abby out here, Jesse? Don't see her. Don't think so. Anyway, like I was saying, not in a big hurry to sand it. It's uh, not going to be painting today or tomorrow or anything. So. It does look like towards the end of next week, it's gonna warm back up to almost 70 degrees and there is a chance of rain on Saturday. I think it's supposed to be 68 or 70 on Saturday. Not a real big chance, but if we do get some rain, which seems to be the theme around here lately, if we get some rain, we might be able to get paint on the old Bronco here. If not, surely we'll have some warm days here sometime. Um, problem is we'll probably be in the field, but somebody said in the comments, and I was actually kind of thinking it myself, what I might do, well, what I might do, is take this apart and rebuild it in here. I haven't taken the measurement. I haven't taken the measurement from up here down. I think it'll go up high enough. It'll actually go over that, which I'd rather it went under it, to be honest, because I don't want to get overspray all over my door, but it probably really wouldn't be too bad. And if it happens, it happens. But anyway, thinking of moving that paint booth in here, and if you aren't familiar with what that is, I know it doesn't really look like a paint booth. It's not, it, 
this is kind of a makeshift paint booth but what I've done before is you wrap this whole thing in plastic and then I mount a couple fans back here in the back and it actually works really well that's how I painted the green truck and it's actually pretty good sized I measured everything a little while ago that thing is uh, let's see it's 15 feet 6 inches long it's 8 foot 11 high and 12 foot 7 wide so that would work out pretty good I can just put it right in here just right where the Bronco is heat it up really good in here like really good like 80 90 degrees probably yeah probably more like 90 degrees this is as warm as I can get it and when I'm ready to paint open the door vent everything out there get everything outside there out of there so it doesn't get overspray on it but i think we can make this happen i know it's not ideal but i'm kind of running out of options at this point the weather just isn't going to cooperate and i'd really like to get this girl painted if i can get it painted then start getting the interior put back together all the chrome parts, well, you can't really see the chrome parts. They're the mirrors and stuff are underneath there. That all needs to be turned black. So that's something else I need to do is uh, prep all the chrome and everything. And we're going to be painting that black. There's not going to be any chrome left on the old Bronco. And at some point, which it may be next spring, but at some point need to get the top, which is on the other side of the barn, bring it in and get it painted it's going to be black as well so still some things to do on the bronco i was just afraid that i wasn't even going to get primer on it and what was i going to do all winter with the old bronco when it needed to get paint on it even in the dead of winter we have some fairly nice days if it could be 30 40 degrees out sun's out not much wind having a wind from the east would be ideal that's that way, so the wind's blowing that way and not in here. Uh, I think we can make that work. Just get the old heaters really going, get it really warm in here, make sure the, uh, the paint and the metal on the Bronco is warmed up, open the door, get her painted, shut the door, get the heat back on, and I think we'd be fine. So that's where we're at with the old Bronco. She's looking pretty. Looks a lot better than she did a couple days ago. At least I think so. Now I just need to get color and clear on her. And I do want to say with the cooler weather, if you're wanting to get yourself a hoodie or this is a zipper hoodie or t-shirts, a uh, bunch of stuff like that, channel stickers. And I am going to get that new channel sticker coming out here real soon. So keep an eye out for that. Link for all that stuff, it's going to be down in the description. So with all that being said, give this video a big old thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye.